The Canyon School District is helping families keep their kids away from gangs. They're teaming up with gang activity experts for a series of free workshops to better educate them about those gangs. So here to explain is Shelly McCall. She's a community school facilitator. Shelly, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you. How bad is our gang situation here in Utah? Well, we wouldn't be talking about it or bringing these programs to our schools and our community if it wasn't an issue. It's an issue nationwide. It's an issue in Utah, in Salt Lake, and in Midvale. So how bad is the problem? Well, like I said, it's um, something that we want to address. It's uh, affecting our students. And as a school district, our job is to keep our kids safe and to make sure that they are getting the opportunities to learn and grow in the schools and in the community and gangs and the problem of gangs is pulling them away from those opportunities and it's affecting those students that are most vulnerable. So what kind of challenges does that pose for a school or a school district? Um, well, like I said, it makes it um, when kids are pulled out of school, when they're pulled out of learning, when they are and their minds are somewhere else, um, they are affected and they are not going to succeed or be in a trajectory in their life to have healthy relationships, to have a productive job, to contribute to our communities. Yeah, there's a destructive domino effect for sure. Absolutely. So if you're a parent and you're worried about one of your kids being in a gang, what can they do? Well, if you attend these, these um, awareness and prevention um, seminars or presentations, it is, um, he does a great job in giving us ideas. And as parents, you know, I'm a parent, I have, um, and I work in an elementary school, and I think, well, why does this affect me? You know, these are young kids, and it's young kids that we really need to start building the skills of resilience, teaching them how to um, self regulate and impulse control and addressing their basic needs of food and shelter and safety and security. And what happens is when these kids get older and they're looking for a place to belong and we haven't provided that as a neighborhood, as a community, they're looking somewhere and that's where they become vulnerable and gangs are able to recruit. So it sounds like you can really get into the root of how the, where this problem begins. And if people are out there, they're saying, okay, I know I need to do some work. I want to come to one of these seminars. I want to learn a little more about how I can help. Where do they go and when do they show up? Well, we're, we're having quite a few. Tonight is mm -hmm. an opportunity to go to Copperview Elementary School. Mm -hmm. um, that's in Sandy. There is a presentation at noon at Midvale Senior Center on Wednesday. We're doing one at Canyons Crossing, and then there's one at the Tyler Library, all sort of in the Midvale Sandy area. And we would love to fill the room and bring this awareness um, and opportunities to prevent, prevent this from happening and affecting these individuals by um, filling that room. There you go. So we have more information on where those are going to be that she just mentioned. Again, you're looking at one uh, today, Monday in Midvale, Wednesday, I mean, another one in Midvale, Thursday as well there in, in different locations throughout that area. We have the information on our website at abc4.com slash GMU, talking with Shelly McCall with the Canyon School District, fighting back against gangs for those schools. Shelly, thanks for being with us today. Thank you.